here it is. This is the Flash Forge. Now, uh, the Flash Forge, as you can see here how 3D printers work. You've got in here, um, we've got uh, an assembly that actually has the print head. You can actually see some filament hanging out there. If you can see if I just put my hand in, see that? That gets melted down in layers by layers to make up the object that sits on this bed here. And that moves around, as you can see, there's gears and there's a, a, an arm here. So imagine this head moves backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, creating objects like this layer by layer. Um, now something this size, using a flash forge, as you can see on the display here, took five hours and 27 minutes. So that gives you some idea about the, the investment of time that goes into making individual objects, which is why 3D printing, certainly in the home, isn't a mass production technology just yet. But that's going to speed up. Making something like this a year ago probably would have taken more like 20 hours. So, so the speed of change is huge. Uh, and of course, what are they 3D printing here? Well, this, you may not recognize it, but for the diehard geeks out there, you'll know it's a Raspberry Pi case. So this is very sort of interesting connection of the two technologies. You've got Raspberry Pi, groundbreaking, uh, Android-based uh, mini computer that can be used for all kinds of processing functions. Very, very cheap. It's the beginning of disposable technology, but it doesn't come with a case. So, do you go out and buy a mass-produced case for it? There aren't really any out there. No, what you need to do is 3D print one. And it's kind of natural. It's something, it's uh, Raspberry Pis are for awesome geeks. <laughs> and uh, then, obviously, uh, they 3D print stuff for it. Okay, now this is Raphael. Say hi, Raphael. Okay, Raphael's doing the, the, the hardest part of 3D printing. He's removing the Raspberry Pi case, the printed object, from the flatbread. Let, 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 let's see how that goes. Is that a nerve-wracking experience? Yes, <laughs> it's a brand new machine. Okay, okay. <laughs> Two. Fantastic. So you, it all came off. And those two things now fit together, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. If my math is correct, yes. <laughs> so you, you designed this yourself? Uh, yeah, I used some standard concepts from the original ones. But yes, I designed it. Oh. Take two. <laughs> it's okay, we can edit that bit out. Okay, let, just let me... Take the rest of the raft. Yeah. And peel it off. I'll take a bit of. I'm saying, seeing that you have just just here this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Great. Right. <laughs> and after a bit of fettling and clicking together, here it is. This is a 3D printed Raspberry Pi case. Let's just look at that. Thank you, Raphael. Look. So you can see there's quite a lot of complexity in that design. If you you actually look at the surface textures on that. You can see that the ports uh, for all the connections are right there. And, and that's really what this is all about, is that you've gone from having uh, an idea on the computer screen, and within uh, five hours, you've actually got a physical, usable, useful item there ready for you. And you've made that yourself. You haven't gone out and bought it. Correct. Yeah. You're pleased with it? So far, uh, basically we had a, ras a Raspberry Pi already, so uh, it's from one of our colleagues, and we were basically taking measurements from the, the real Raspberry Pi, and we achieved the simplest solution. Uh, we already have a lot of solutions on the market, but uh, I don't think you have a 3D printing ready for free download, so yeah. I'm, pleased with that. I'm guessing what's interesting about this, I'm here at my mini factory. Um, where you can download free 3D printable files. I'm guessing what's interesting is, of course, you can tinker with that. So if you want 
your Raspberry Pi case, just like that one, but actually you kind of want one that's got a pencil holder on the side that clicks onto the front of your bicycle, you can make those adjustments yourself, right? So this is the, the personalization factor. Correct. Okay, and that's, that's really what it's all about. It's, it's about changing the way you think. So it's not just about getting an object manufactured, it's about getting an object manufactured for you that does what you want to do. And if you can't find one, you can always start with someone else's and then work on it. So it's a sort of community crowdsource development model for manufacturing real items. And that's, that's quite a remarkable thing. Raphael, thank, thank you for letting me touch your, your Raspberry Pi. I never thought I'd be saying that on video. Anytime. Okay.